Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is Convention on Biological Diversity. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. The 16th Conference of the Parties to the Convention on Biological Diversity is set to resume in Rome, Italy from the 25th to the 27th of February 2025. This session is crucial as it seeks to finalize key financial and policy commitments for biodiversity conservation following the disrupted COP16 meeting in Cali, Colombia. Now let's discuss about CBD COP16. In 2024, CBD COP16 convened in Cali, Colombia from the 21st of October to the 1st of November, where a series of important decisions were adopted. However, COP16 in Cali, Colombia was cut short due to a lack of quorum, delaying crucial financial decisions. India launched the updated National Biodiversity Strategy and Action Plan at COP16 to the CBD, aligning with the Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework. The resumed session in Rome will focus on securing financial resources and creating a framework to track biodiversity commitments. Now let's talk about key agenda items. Establishing the Cali Fund aims to distribute financial benefits from the use of digital sequence information, DSI, led by the private sector with a focus on indigenous communities and biodiversity conservation, India ensured national rights over biodiversity are protected with the phrase without prejudice to national legislation. Financial commitments aim to mobilize $20 billion per year by 2025 and $200 billion annually by 2030 for biodiversity conservation increase. Official development assistance for biodiversity to $20 billion by 2030, 2025, and $30 billion by 2030. Review of existing funds, like the Global Biodiversity Framework Fund and the Kunming Biodiversity Fund. Strengthening the Global Environment Facility to support biodiversity financing. Monitoring framework and progress tracking development of a monitoring framework with indicators for 23 global biodiversity targets. Areas covered include habitat protection, pollution control, and sustainable resource management. Implementation of Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework. Focus on enforcing policy and funding commitments under the GBF establishing measurable progress indicators ahead of COP17. Recognition of indigenous and local communities, Afro-descendant communities, formally recognized under Article 8J alongside Indigenous Peoples Formation of a special working group to ensure Indigenous and local communities have greater involvement in biodiversity governance. Now lastly, moving on to future implications and COP17 in 2026. Outcomes of Rome will shape COP17 discussions in Yerevan, Armenia. Governments expected to demonstrate progress in biodiversity funding and implementation, strengthening of global cooperation to align national policies with biodiversity conservation goals. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about CBD COP16. 1. In 2024, the 16th Conference of the Parties to the Convention on Biological Diversity was held in Montreal, Canada. 2. India launched the updated National Biodiversity Strategy an action plan COP16. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.